Last week was a turbulent time for the alternative currency, Bitcoin. As we talked about, the currency had a rocky entree to the mainstream, fluctuating between about $260 per coin to about $60 in the course of a week. Some have been saying that the bubble has burst, some also implying that it's just another fad that will eventually go the way of Crystal Pepsi and Furbies. Or for that matter, IX coin, Solid Coin, or Lolcust, all spin-offs of Bitcoin that are now basically extinct. Nonetheless, in the wake of Bitcoin's turbulent week, alternatives to the alternative currency are now gaining steam. One of these is Litecoin, developed by an engineer named Charles Lee. There are still others like PPC Coin, and these are all mined much in the same way as Bitcoin. There are minor nuances among the currencies, but Litecoin, for example, claims to be more energy efficient and also cranks out script at a higher rate than Bitcoin. What do you need to do it? Basically a whole bunch of processor power and a sense of risk. YouTuber EndWorldSuck.com has a really thorough three-part series on how to set up and optimize mining of Litecoin or Bitcoin. Basically, you'll need one or several GPUs, which if you've ever set up a gaming rig, shouldn't be too challenging. You can run a miner off your basic machine, but it's so slow that it's probably not worth it. You ought to also calculate energy costs, assuming you pay your own energy bill. That's right, the mining process can consume a lot of energy, collectively about $150,000 a day total for everyone who's doing it, according to the site blockchain.info. Once you've configured your GPU, you'll also need to download a mining client, and from there you'll connect to a mining pool. You could go to a website like GiveMeLTC.com where you can create an account and find the location of the mining pool. Connect it with your GPU and dive right in. From there, just sit back, rake in the cash, retire early, and live out the rest of your days partying with models on a yacht, right? Yeah, in theory. One of the criticisms of Litecoin is that to whatever extent Bitcoin is trustworthy, Litecoin is less so. There are no mainstream services, nor even alternative services like Silk Road, that accept Litecoin as of now, at least not that we've heard about. For what it's worth, and perhaps more importantly, there is some forum chatter about Litecoin clients infected with malware. I haven't installed this on my computer, because I'm scared to, but some commenters have claimed to have found Trojans or have ran into other issues on the program GUI Miner. Now, whether or not the malware complaint is valid, as a rule, one should exercise lots of caution when installing anything except from a trusted source, especially when the client involves connecting with other machines, as a mining pool does. Nowhere was this more apparent than last week's debacle, when a a malicious program was found circulating on Skype. That program sought to build a massive botnet for stealing Bitcoin. So while Bitcoin might feel like the trusty status quo for alternative currency at this point, remember that they all involve some risk. So are you ready to throw up your hands and start trading animal pelts and whiskey like the good old days? Let me know your reaction in the comments. Thanks for watching. This is Annie for TFN.